I just started watching this sport and that wasn't a good slap. Repeated like sub-concussive blows are like ruin your brain. So today we're gonna show you a real sport that people attend and watch that some may consider to be a little dumb. Football! No, I'm playing. I'm playing, I'm playing! There's so much stupid shit in this world, I don't even know at this point. I'm so ready to see the most outlandish thing. <laughs> Meanwhile in Russia, the male slapping championships took place. <laughs> took home 30,000. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the slapping thing! This is terrifying. Not my wheelhouse at all. Yo, this has been a thing, by the way. This is not new. <laughs> Damn, he got knocked off. He's still playing! They're slapping each other and it's a game. It's like that game slaps where you like hold hands and you slap each other's back of the hand. I don't like this. Oh! Boy knocked him out with a slap! You're right, this is dumb. <laughs> There seems to be a lot of screaming, but I don't see where the sport is. How do you train for that? In boxing, you, you learn how to dodge as well as punch. How do I train my face for the impact of someone else's slap? I want to fight professionally. I like my team has professional fighters, and we do, we like I don't think any of us would do this ever ever. I think once you know what the symptoms can be and like. I've had headaches where like you can't sleep because you sparred too hard that day. You wouldn't want to do this. Like this is not smart. Oh! Oh! You're not good, bro. You're out. You're out. Who's letting this go? I like how he like makes sure the snapback's still on. You know, priorities. His face is red. Oh! The one with the hat is better, I think. <laughs> that wasn't a good slap. I mean, I, I just started watching this sport and that wasn't a good slap. How do you determine the winner? <laughs> the, guy, the judge is like, like, you good? And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, I promise, I'm good. <laughs> oh, knock the hat right off you. Let's go. Who wins? How did he win? Does he get a gold cup? Does he get a check for $10,000? What? Look at all those people there to watch it. Look at how many people are watching them. Is this like at a mall or something? That's a big guy. Oh my gosh. What happened to their shirts? Where'd their shirts go? I feel bad for this guy. This guy on the, the right. This is so bad. This, I can't think of like how bad this is for you. Like, repeated like sub-concussive blows are like ruin your brain. I don't understand the scoring system. That boy's gonna be undefeated forever. He is like a stone. Slapstick comedy. It's used. For, to make you laugh, and so like watching them slap each other is funny. It just makes the whole thing seem so silly, even though it's like serious. I'm watching people slap each other, but not in a conventional way, but in a professional manner. I'm just very intrigued and a little confused. All right, folks, here we go, shake hands. Oh, we're in the States now, oh boy. This is like uh, the underground wrestling. No fist, no fist. Don't look away, don't look away. I think he used a fist. Oh! Imagine not even getting one slap in. Wow, these guys are serious. That didn't look like a slap. That looked like it punched him right in the face. Stay down. Stay. I, I feel you, bro. I, I feel you. These people are going nuts. That's crazy. I can't see any intrinsic benefits to participation. When you do a combat sport, one of the worst things you see is someone take a shot when they get knocked out and hit again. The fact that they're just standing in front of each other and going one for one, tit for tat, like, that's like, oh man, I can't watch that kind of stuff. Okay, Captain America. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet that hurts. Foul slap in the eye. <laughs> there are rules. He's like, yeah, that one kind of got me. 
Yeah, he's reacting the right way. I feel like if I were playing this, <laughs> I couldn't help myself but to flinch. Oh no, man. Me and my friends used to do this in high school. We just didn't have an arena of 40,000 people watching us. The guy's like, I, oh, why did I sign up for this? <laughs> I bet you their slaps hurt. Whoa, I felt that one. See, I, I, he slapped the sweat off him. Maybe this is uh, indoor sports. It's so cold a lot. How much can you do outdoors? So they have to come up with something indoors to do. It's constant as repeated blows because they're not getting KO'd, but they're, they're concussed, like way concussed right now. Okay, we got a winner. Oh, hug it out, boys. It's friendly matches. Whoa, his face looks horrendous. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Did you see his neck and his face? The Russians are wildin'. It's interesting that it exists, and I'm very, very intrigued, like I wanna learn more, but I'm also kind of like, really, like why is this a thing? This sport is just, Another excuse to take out violence on another person, which obviously is very enjoyable to a large number of people. So the first video we showed you recently went viral on Twitter. In it, the men are participating in the male slapping championships. Oh, so that's like the big leagues. That's when you've worked up the slap gauntlets, you've done a couple underground clubs, you got a name for yourself, and now you're out to take on the slap king. That took place at a Russian power expo that was reportedly looking to promote patriotism and the strongest men in that country. Aha, okay. Patriotism and strongest man. Got it, that's what I would have thought watching the video. <laughs> this is like the lowest life form on planet Earth. If you wanna see the, who the strongest person is, like like there's actual hand-to-hand -hand combat sports. Is this a sport that people in your generation would be interested in watching? I don't think so. Uh, we have enough sports in this country. I don't think so. I don't get the sport, I'm sorry. I just don't get it, there's nothing to it. They'll watch anything, okay? <laughs> Honestly, I think whether you're watching it for shock value, like I can't believe this is happening, or you're watching it for entertainment, you're still watching it nonetheless. To make the claim that like, no, this is so dumb, no one's gonna watch it, no. People watch mukbangs, okay? <laughs> People watch everything. I know that me and my friends personally, we would like, we would watch that <laughs> All night. My generation is very easily influenceable. There's literally a job called influencer where you influence. So like, they'll do whatever the f they see on the internet. So here's some of the rules that we found from our research. The event is an elimination style competition where two men face off against each other. Both men use their palms to slap each other three times. The first one to fall loses. Okay, first one to fall out of three slaps. You try to knock another man down with three slaps. To avoid causing serious injury, opponents are only allowed to use their fingers and their upper part of the palm. Oh, I can't use this. And are banned from targeting their temples, ears, and eyes. If both men are still standing after the three slaps, a judge will then decide a winner based on strength and technique. <laughs> The slap technique, okay. And now that you've heard the rules, is this something you would want to participate in? No, God, no. Oh my God, no. What? No, of course not. I don't have anything to prove. Maybe uh, if I was three or four years old, but not, now, not nowadays, no. Any sport where one of the rules is if you're not conscious, then you're no longer winning, it's not a game I want to play. I really value my brain. I like really value like the way it functions, my thought processes and everything. There's no way I would participate in this sport. Like no way. We have to ask, have you ever been slapped before in any setting? I don't think so. I really don't think I've been slapped before. I don't think so. I've been stage slapped. I have gotten in a fight once. It was self-defense. I didn't start the fight, but I definitely have slapped someone and have been slapped. I have because I know what it feels like. So somebody slapped me once upon a time. <laughs> Can't remember who did it, but it stung. So there have been several countries with like odd sports like this. Mm. In the UK, there's a World Toe Wrestling Championship. <laughs> in, what? In Finland, they have a life carrying competition. And then in South Australia, they hold a tuna tossing tournament. Tossing tuna. It's a great headline. Why do you think people are attracted to creating these types of odd competitions? I think they're getting bored with modern games the way they are. You get the college and then you get the professional football game. It gets oversaturated. We just like to be stronger than each other. I, that's the only like that's the only plausible reason I can think of. Competition is just like 
um, bred in us as human beings, you know, like, it's like the survival of the fittest. There's like a subsect of people in middle school that were like, strong or fast or good at something, but they weren't necessarily good at like the traditional sports of like basketball, football, whatever. So they were like, I'm gonna take my skill set and I'm gonna go make my own sport that exclusively I'm good at. It kind of gives like normal people things to excel at, right? So maybe a fisherman never thought he would be anything special, but like he just won the tuna tossing competition. And like, that's exciting to him. So finally, can you tell those people who are continuing to participate in this sport why it might be a bad idea? You're gonna get your eardrums popped, dude. Like, this is bad. Just retire while you're on top. Maybe in the long term, it isn't the right career option, and you should not quit your day job. We can find more productive things to do instead of fight each other for entertainment. If you want to fight, there's other sports out there. Um, definitely like take care of your brain. You only get one. Cause right now it's not a big deal, but like taking these big shots in the brain at this point could really be like bad in the future. Don't mess up your brain, you know, or don't let, you, you, your ears gonna get hit. You're gonna lose hearing. You could go blind. Like there's serious risks here. So please consult your doctor before participating in the slapping championship. Thanks for watching this episode of Generations React. Shout out to Joseph Parker and Eric Martinez. Slap that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. What crazy sport have you participated in? Let us know in the comments. JC here, producer at FB. Get to know Reactor staff and discover more about your favorite people here at FB by subscribing to youtube.com slash FB2. Thanks for your support. Bye guys.